ago, I actually learned to rollerblade just so I could get the robot chicken on wheels. Oh, yeah. Did you really? I did, I did. I live in New Jersey, I went to New York. And which so part, which part? At the New York part? Yeah, you weren't even... I wasn't at the New York party, I'm sorry, I had to go home and I couldn't make it, I had to get to work. So but, uh, oh, did you have fun at the party? It was great. I met Chewbacca, you know, it was great. If you meet Chewbacca, that's pretty much the best day of your life. <laughs> Anytime you can roller skate with a Wookiee, you've won. So, are you still going to work with Robot Chicken? Yeah, we're, we're doing our new season of Robot Chicken Airs now. We're right in the sixth season right now. Um, uh, Seth is in New York right now, but yeah, we just announced we're doing another season. So, it'll all be good. You can still get high and watch out. <laughs> Wait, we never, we never, I promise you. Wait, you promised to have a episode you just signed on for. For what? Your show. Oh, this show. <laughs> Sorry, robot chicken. Would you like to say that? Yeah, that's a lady. You're the tallest person on stage. No, we were talking about eight. We did ten, uh, which is kind of normal TNT order. We did the pilot plus nine, and hopefully, that's it. We get well, hopefully we get more. How many, how many did you make? Okay. 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 Fifteen. Good on you. Good. You have. Well, I don't love you, and you don't love Paul's stupid answer. After Stay by the Bell and Stay by the Bell you wrapped up, did you find it hard to find roles due to typecasting, or do you find that your success on that show made it easier for you to get more of popularity? No, because, well, when we wrap. Stay by the Bell. The right. question was, was it hard to get roles after Stay by the Bell because you've been pigeonholed as that? I'm just telling you. This. <laughs> she spoke softly and beautifully, but softly. Don't let me in. I'm letting you in. You want to push people away. Don't push people away. Uh, open, open the little mark. When, when we wrap, Stay by the Bell. We got this fucking mic somewhere. No, no, I drank my dinner. Fuck you, Mark Paul. <laughs> Uh, but no, it, we, 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 it, it stopped, we, what, we finished 94 for the college years and I was in. I started working pretty regularly after that. Um, yeah, no, it, it, we didn't really didn't have an issue with finding jobs, thankfully. I mean, that's always the fear is that you're going to be a pigeonhole and do um, the same role over and over. But it wasn't really until I got NYP Blue that uh, things started to go in the direction of playing young adults rather than playing college students or whatnot. But no, that meant your career. I'm still, I, I, we feel relatively young enough to stay in this career for a while, so hopefully we'll keep working. I don't know, if he gets off his ass and we get viewers. I am standing. <laughs> I know you don't think I'm standing, but I'm standing. We'll go here and over there. We'll go here and over there. Here and over there. Here and over there. Yeah. Um, your ass looks so yummy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it wasn't so my ass, by the way. He's my stunt double. <laughs> You know why? Because we haven't waxed yeah. on today. Yeah. Uh, she has no bronze. No, no bronze around her. <laughs> it's like Narnia back there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She was talking about your yummy ass. Right? Sorry, you were talking about Mark Paul's yummy ass. Go ahead. I was wondering if you had a trainer or how did you get your ass looks like? Did you have an ass trainer? <laughs> <laughs> an asshole. It's my ass trainer. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't have a trainer. Um, no. Oh, okay. poor Hollywood guy with no trainer. Uh, I feel pretentious if I had a trainer. I don't know, it feels oddly weird to have a trainer. Uh, no, I, 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 I don't. I just, I just say, I just, what is, where, where, where do we go with this? I eat right. I eat right. I try to moderate my carbs. No. And next question. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, we'll go here. Yes. Um, my friends and I actually had the pleasure of being with you guys this morning at Preston Steve, which was awesome. Oh, right. So you donated $550? Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, I did that. <laughs> um, so we saw the Evoke have musical talent. Is there any part of the show where you might both like have the drums, guitar, and like rock out or anything? Or? Uh, so a little known fact, she was asking about uh, some of the musical talents people on the set. Uh, Reed Diamond, the guy who plays harp, he's an accomplished mu musician. A lot of the people on the set are, are, are musicians.